Welcome to Shale's Kitchen, home of good food and good memories. Prepping yellowtail snapper wrapped in banana leaf. So I've already generously seasoned my fish with some green seasonings, which is a blend of fresh herbs and garlic and ginger, pimentos, all kinds of good stuff, inside and out. So I have a nice cavity here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to layer some more fresh herbs. This is Spanish thyme. And I have some pimentos. Some more right there. Some beautiful pimentos. And these are like sweet peppers, sweet seasoning peppers. So they give a lot of great flavor, but not a lot of heat. And I have some shadow benny here which is similar to culantro and cilantro. And then some fresh green onions. Let's see if we could fit these guys in here and close it up. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to wrap my red snapper in this banana leaf. And then we are going to put it on the coal pot to cook. I already have my yellowtail snapper laying on these banana leaves. So all I'm going to do now is just fold the banana leaf over like this and then just tuck this under. And then we are going to put it on the grill on the Here's cold pot. Here's my cold pot all ready to go. And I got this in preparation for Hurricane Irma. It says Easy light bag, you don't need any lighter fluid or anything, you just follow the instructions, so that's what I'm going to do. When I'm grilling, I find it's a lot easier to line the bottom with foil, so it's a lot easier for cleanup afterwards. I'm going to use the same technique with the cold. When the coals are covered in ash, we'll be ready to go to put the snapper on the grill. Smells like a barbecue. A few more minutes and we should be ready to go. Before putting the fish on the grill, I just secured the outer flaps with some toothpicks. Our coals are coming along nicely. Make sure before you start grilling that you have some proper utensils to help you, especially when you need to flip the fish halfway during the cooking process. I have this really nice fish spatula here, nice and wide, and also a couple tongs if I need that to assist me while I'm flipping the fish. The coals are all covered in ash now, so I'm just using a long fork just to be safe and spreading the coals out a little bit so we can get ready to put the fish on the grill. Grill on the coal pot, ready to go. I just slid the fish onto the grill using my nice little fish utensil here. And I'm gonna time this for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to flip the fish. As Emeril always says, I wish you had smell a vision As soon as that fish hit the grill, I could smell the aroma with all those seasonings and blending with the aroma of the banana leaf. Just amazing. So the fish has been grilling for 10 minutes and now I'm gonna be very gentle flipping it. I put my tongs right here and I slid my fish spatula underneath. And let's do this. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. I just flipped the fish and I'll be grilling it another 10 minutes and then we'll check it out. Now I feel like a real island girl gone to the beach and cooking on a coal pot. It's been another 10-15 minutes and you'll see like part of the fish is exposed right here like the um, banana leaf just popped so I'm just going to test it by inserting a knife and see how that feels. 
feels pretty good. So the only way to know for sure is to take it off and check. Just took my snapper off the cold pot grill. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. So I'm just going to take some kitchen shares and just run them all the way up. Oh my gosh. Look at that. You can see the steam coming off of the fish. How wonderful it looks and it smells. Oh my goodness. I am so happy. The fish cooked for a total of about 30 minutes and it's well cooked with a nice char on the outside. So now it's time for a taste. So let's try a little piece right here. Trying to escape. You know what? I couldn't ask for better. Cold pot cooking and grilling is fantastic. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and I look forward to seeing you next time on Shale's Kitchen, home of good food and good memories.